As Clay Holmes came out of the bullpen in the eighth inning here tonight, he wondered if it was going to be a two-out appearance. No, they had other plans for this one. This was the ball game, and Holmes was going to get the final five outs, which he did as the Yankees held on for a 2-0 win over the Baltimore Orioles here at Camden Yards. The Yankees becoming the first team in the American League to reach 20 wins this season as they move back into a virtual tie for first place in the American League East. They're also the first team to shut out the Orioles this season, and they couldn't have done it without Holmes, who was summoned with two on and one out in the eighth. Strikeout, strikeout against the top of the Baltimore order, and then pitched around a leadoff infield single in the ninth to lock it down. Holmes having a career year here as he heads toward potentially free agency. He has yet to allow an earned run across 15 innings so far. He struck out 15 against just one walk, and he took it to another level here tonight. Aaron Boone saying that home sinker and slider seem to be a little bit on a different level. Uh, Brandon Hyde, the Orioles manager, saying, hey, when you're throwing 97-mile-an-hour bowling balls with a slider, that is really, really tough to hit. And Holmes uh, did it in relief of Luis Hill, who was also really, really tough to hit. Uh, he threw a career-high six and one-third innings. The Orioles never moved a runner into scoring position against Hill, who struck out five, only allowed Two hits and a walk, bouncing back from a five-run outing against the Brewers in Milwaukee. He got all the support he would need from Oswaldo Cabrera, who hit a two-run homer off Corbin Burns down the right field line. I've never seen this before. The ball was hit down the line and wedged right in the fence, and it stuck there. The umpires took a look at it, and all the evidence they needed was right there because the ball was literally still stuck in the fence. The security guard was trying to get it out of there and eventually gave it to a young fan in an Orioles jersey. But that was it. That was all the uh, the Yankees would need in this one because pitching ruled the day. Uh, strong performance out of the bullpen. Caleb Ferguson with a couple of strikeouts, and then Ian Hamilton pitched in a trouble. But fortunately for the Yankees, they had... Clay Holmes, who has been just terrific all season. He talked a little bit about this after the game. I asked him if something feels different than it did last year, and he said he's moving down the mound better. And when the slope of the mound is right, the arm angle is all perfect. He's got the sinker. When he's got his sinker there and everything is synced up the way it is, then the slider usually falls right into place. And um, so uh, Holmes has just been terrific. The Yankees, as I mentioned, have 20 wins. And Holmes now with an American League leading 10 saves. So he quite literally has had a hand in half of their victories here. So the Yanks salvage at least one. And they're going to try for a split tomorrow. Back here bright and early for a day game at Camden Yards as Carlos Rodon heads to the mound for the Bombers. So that's the hokey pokey. That's what it's all about. Once again, your final score from Baltimore is the Yankees 2 and the Orioles nothing. See you tomorrow.